Sport Yoga today. My name is Erica and I'm with UMBC Recreation. If you're new to this class or are new to yoga in general, that is okay. We start with the slow warm up. We build fundamentals that we will use later in the practice. And I always talk us into a pose. So I won't call it a pose and expect you to know how to get there. So the class is beginner friendly in that sense, but that does not mean the class is easy. Um, so I do encourage you to take breaks if you need, skip poses if they're just not working for you. Um, always listen to your body throughout the practice. Um, so like I said, on your body, take breaks if you need and always check with your doctor before you start a new exercise plan. At the end of this class, I do wanna let you know we rest on our back in a final resting period where we remain still for about two to three minutes um, with our eyes closed. I think it is the most important part of a practice because it gives us time to reflect and it allows our body to absorb the benefits of the class. Yoga is not just about what we do on our mat and our, and our poses, it's about what goes on on the inside as well. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. We're gonna start in a comfortable seated position. So whatever that means for you, legs can be crossed, legs can be in a loose diamond shape. You're gonna to face towards the front of your mat and find length through your spine, drop your shoulders down your back. We're gonna take our hands behind our back, palms facing away from the body. Stack the hands on top of one another, right on your sacrum, so that bony part right above your butt. You can take a look up here if you need to know what I'm talking about. Draw the elbows towards the back so you can find a lift and opening in the chest. Shoulders still relaxed away from the ears and our gaze is tilted up towards the ceiling. Take a few deep breaths into your chest here. Just a little counter stretch, especially if you spend a lot of your day hunched over a computer at a desk, opening the front side of the body. Give me at least one or two breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now start to round the spine, drop chin to chest and point the elbows towards the front. Just hold for a few rounds of breath here. As we start to inhale, we'll find the lift in the spine, drawing elbows towards the back to open front of the chest. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, we'll round, pointing elbows towards the front, chin to chest, holding here. Inhale, finding the lift, head tilts up, and we exhale back to round, no hold this time. And place arms out at your sides, fingertips to floor. Bring your right arm up towards the ceiling, reach through the fingertips and add a side bend. Right ribs are reaching up towards the ceiling. Deepen the breath just a bit here and reach actively out through right fingertips. Core is engaged, so belly draws in towards the spine. And we'll release, bringing fingertips down to the mat. Left arm comes up to the ceiling, stretch, 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 and find that side bend, holding here. Finding length on both sides of the body so we're not crunching into that side that we're side bending into. Take another deep breath or two and return fingers to mat. We'll spinal twist to the right. So right hand directly behind you, left hand in front. And you're gonna gaze out over right shoulder. Spine stays long and belly is still active. And we'll slowly unwind to spinal twist, opposite side. This time, left hand is directly behind. And release, returning to center. Bring the bottoms of the feet together into butterfly pose. Find length through the spine, press firmly to pinky edges of the feet. The closer you pull the heels towards the body, the more sensation you're gonna feel in the hips. 
If you need a little less sensation, scoot the heels away from the hips. Gaze is down towards the floor. So we opened our chest and our shoulders. We worked a little bit with our core, working our way down. Now straighten the legs out in front of you, swing them behind you and come into a tabletop position on your hands and your knees, wrist stacked under shoulders and knees stacked under the hips. Extend your right leg behind you, heel in line with hip, toes facing down towards the floor. And we'll extend into sunbird, so left arm comes forward, thumb up towards the ceiling and gaze is down towards the mat. Think nice, long, flat back. Straight line from wrist down to right heel. Warming up that core. Keep the leg lifted, but drop the hand to the mat and lift up to the fingertips. Now point through the toes, so right toes are pointed. Give me a crunch, drawing right knee in towards the chest, around the spine, we're gonna hold it here for five. Draw the belly in, don't hold the breath. Keep that knee lifting as high as you can, and then we'll extend the leg behind us again and hold here. If you'd like a little toning for your glute, just give me a pulse by sending the heel up towards the ceiling, just a few times. So we're pulsing or we're holding steady. And then you're gonna give me another crunch, knee to chest, hold it here, we're holding for five. Don't hold the breath and extend. We're gonna do this one more time. So you're either holding legs steady or you're giving me little pulses, activating the glute. Gaze stays down towards the mat and give me a crunch, knee to chest. Hold it here for five, four, keep that knee nice and high. And we're gonna step or place the foot into lunge. You can manually put it there if you need. Ankle is right below the knee. Tuck left toes onto the mat. Lift that knee into the air and then scoot it back just a few inches. So you can scoot it back a few more inches if you're not feeling any sensation here on the front of the thigh, but you don't want to do too much. Don't take it to your limit. Draw the breath in through the nose and lift both arms overhead. Relax shoulders away from ears and draw belly into spine. Tuck the ribs in. Resist the urge to find a back bend here. As we exhale, we'll bring the fingertips back down to the floor. We're gonna move right into half split. So send those hips towards the back of the mat, start to straighten the forward leg, flexing the foot. Spine stays long, so fingertips might need to move a few inches back as well. And meet me back in lunge. So knee is stacked over the ankle. Draw the breath in through nose, lift both arms overhead. Exhale out through the mouth, fingertips to floor and find half split, hips into the back of the mat, foot flexes. One more time, meet me back in lunge, knee over ankle. Draw the breath in through the nose, lift the chest, nice deep breath, slow movement. We exhale, fingertips to floor, and find our half split, foot flexes. Spine is long, chest sends forward. Come back to lunge, loosening up the legs here. And bring right arm up to the ceiling into the twist. Gaze is up towards ceiling. Belly stays close to thigh. Foot stays flat to mat. Bring your hand down to the floor and meet me back in tabletop, knees under hips. Round the spine, draw belly in, tuck chin to chest for cat pose. Then lift and arch the spine, letting belly hang into cow. Gaze is up to ceiling. Again, rounding the spine into cat. Lifting and arching into cow. One more time, try to exhale as you find cat. And draw the breath in as you find cow. Then meet me back in a tabletop position. Start with hands flat to mat and extend left leg behind you, foot is flexed and extend right arm forward, thumb up to ceiling, gaze is down towards the mat. Don't hold the breath. We're gonna hold the pose for about 10 seconds. And if you're feeling pretty wobbly or you are wobbly, that's okay. Your body is working, your core is strengthening. Bring just the hand down to the mat and lift up to the fingertips and point through the toes now. 
Give me a crunch, knee to chest, hold it here for five. Don't hold the breath, see if you can lift that knee a little higher and extend. If you're toning the glute, give me those pulses. We're gonna hold and pause for a second here. And give me a crunch, knee to chest, round the spine, and we're holding here for five. And extend. Last time we're pausing here, you can pulse, it's optional. Last time to crunch, knee to chest, round the spine, draw a belly in, we're holding here. And step or place the foot into lunge. Right toes tuck onto the mat, scoot that knee back just a few inches. Top of the foot returns to the mat. Draw the breath in through your nose, lift both arms overhead, find length through the spine, lengthen away from the hips. Exhale out through the mouth, fingertips to floor. Send the hips back into half split, straightening the forward leg, flexing the foot. If the leg is particularly tight, you can keep a soft bend in the knee, leg doesn't have to straighten completely. Meet me back in lunge, knee stacks over the ankle, draw breath in through nose, lift both arms overhead. Exhale out through mouth, fingertips to mat, and settle into half split, hips come back. Send the chest forward. We've got one more time after this. Return to lunge. Breath in through nose, arms up. Breath out through mouth, hands down. Find your half split. Return to lunge. Lift the left arm up to ceiling, into twist. Draw the belly in, gaze up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, fingertips return to mat. Meet me back in a tabletop position and take a few cat cows at your own pace. Just rounding and lifting the spine for the next few moments or so. And settle into tabletop with hands flat to mat. Lower to puppy pose, bringing elbows down to the mat, stacked under shoulders, palms are face down, and head relaxes. Getting a nice release for your neck and lengthen the spine. This is puppy pose, option one for your rest period anytime throughout the class. You do not have to wait for me to cue a rest. You're more than welcome to take them at your own time. Second option for rest is child's pose. So hips come all the way down to the heels, toes touch, but knees are separate and forehead rests on the mat. So if you're new to this practice, try both out, see which works for you, which is more comfortable in your body. And then I'm gonna ask you to hold that pose there and we'll finish our warm up here with a few moments of stillness and some nice deep breaths. Slowly meet me back in a tabletop position and lift up to the tips of the fingers. Extend your left leg behind you, pointing through the toes, heel in line with hip, and give me a tabletop crunch. Knee draws in towards the chest, round the spine, and step or place the foot into lunge. Right toes tuck onto the mat, lift that knee into the air, lifting up to pointer and middle finger, sending chest forward, belly draws in. Step up to half lift, so feet step together, back is flat, and hands to shin, shoulders draw away from ears. Lower to forward fold, so we'll bend the knees so that our belly can make contact with the thighs. Let our arms and head reach towards the floor. Low belly is drawing in, hips stay reaching to the sky. You want contact of belly to thigh, so some of us might have to bend our knees a little more than the rest of us, and that's okay. One vertebrae at a time, we'll round our spines up to standing, leaving your chin tucked to your chest until you make it all the way to the top. So now we're going to move into the bulk of our practice, but before we do, I'm going to demo our plank sequence for the week. Every week we have a new plank sequence, so I'm going to demo the first time and then we'll tie it into the practice together. So just watch me this first time through. 
we'll start in tabletop and I always give us a countdown so you know what's coming up like plank sequence in three, two, one. We're going to start today by spreading our fingers nice and wide on the mat, lifting out of the shoulders and lifting knees off the mat, drawing belly back to spine. So we want nice flat back, lifting the knees as if we're going to bear crawl. We're going to tap the knee, tap the knee. So right hand crosses over to opposite. We'll tap the shoulder. We'll tap the shoulder again, knee, knee, shoulder and shoulder. Now I was moving an awful lot, but I want us to try to stay as still as we can. There's going to be movement. Try to engage your core for control and stability. After we've done that twice, we'll step into a plank position. Lower into forearm plank, so elbows to mat, and we're going to hold for five seconds here before we release and continue with the practice. So we're going to tie that into some sun salutations. Start standing at the top of your mat with feet hip width distance apart. Stand nice and tall with purpose. So we're lengthening towards the ceiling. Our shoulders are relaxed down the back. We're puffing out our chest just a bit. Lift both arms overhead, gaze up to the ceiling, and meet me in a forward fold. So bring hands together. We're hinging at the hips. We're dropping belly to thighs. Bend the knees to make that happen. Then rise to half lift. Flatten back and hands to shins. Step into a plank position. Bend the knees so you can step into plank. Lower the knees to the mat. And tuck your toes onto the floor so you're ready to lift the knees in three, two, one. Hold it here. Tap the knee, knee, shoulder, and shoulder. Again, knee, knee, shoulder, and shoulder. Step into plank. Meet me in forearm plank, elbows to mat, and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Tops of feet to mat. Hands under shoulders and elbows up to ceiling. Lift the chest off the mat into baby cobra. Use the strength of your core to find the lift in the chest. Then press to your rest position. That can be puppy pose, elbows to mat, or child's pose, hips to heels. And take just a breath or two here. Slowly rise back to tabletop, lift up to the tips of the fingers and extend your right leg behind you. Point through the toes. Give me a crunch, knee to chest, round the spine, pull belly in and get the foot into a lunge position. Left toes tuck onto the mat, knee lifts into the air, lifting up to pointer and middle finger. Step up to half lift, so feet together, back flat. Lower to forward fold, belly meets the thighs, crown of the head reaches towards the floor. And we'll round our spine up to standing. Take your time, one vertebrae at a time. And once you make it up to standing, bring both arms overhead and gaze back up towards the ceiling. Return to forward fold, hands together, hinge at the hips, belly comes down to thighs. Rise half lift, flat in the back. Step into your plank position and lower to tabletop. Tuck the toes onto the mat and we'll lift the knees in three, two, one. Find the lift. Give me a knee tap, knee tap, shoulder, shoulder. Knee, knee, shoulder, and shoulder. Step back to plank. Lower to forearm plank and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release to mat, tops of feet down, hands under shoulders. Inhale to lift the chest, baby cobra, shoulder blades reach to touch and press into your rest position. Puppy pose or child's. Slowly meet me back in tabletop, lift up to the tips of the fingers, extend left leg behind you, point through the toes, heel in line with hip. Give me a crunch, knee to chest, draw that belly in and place the foot into lunge. We'll step up to half lift, so lift the knee, step the feet up to top of mat, flat and back. Lower to fold, belly meets the thighs, arms hang, and we'll round our spine. 
up to standing. One last time through, arms come back overhead, gaze up, and slowly lower to fold as you exhale, belly to thighs. Inhale, half lift, flatten back. Step into your plank position. Lower knees to tabletop, and we'll prepare to lift in three, two, one. Knees up, draw the belly in. Knee touch, knee tap, shoulder and shoulder. Find stability, touch the knee, touch the knee, shoulder and shoulder. Step into forearm plank, oh I'm sorry, plank, then lower to forearm plank, and we'll hold here. If you wanna amp your forearm planks up, you can try hip dips. So hips roll side to side, rolling over on the tops of the toes. Then we'll lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. And exhale to our rest position. No hold this time, so inhale and return right back to tabletop. If you'd like to amp up your tabletop crunches, so do not feel the need to take anything a step further if you feel enough work already. Try your tabletop crunches with your hand flat. If it doesn't work out, you can always go back to lifting up to fingertips. So we're gonna lift up to fingertips now and extend right leg behind you preparing for tabletop crunch. Give me knee to chest around the spine. If hands are flat, you're gonna find a lift a little bit more here Then step or place the foot into lunge. Inhale as you step up to half lift. Exhale as you return to fold. Try to draw the inhale out as you slowly rise to standing. And exhale at the top. Feet or hips width distance apart. We're standing at the top of the mat. Extend your left arm up towards the ceiling. Reach to the tips of the fingers and give me a side bend. So left ribs are reaching high, chin is lifted from the chest, core is active. If you wanna add a challenge, try lifting up the right arm so both arms frame the ear, asking the core to work a little bit more. If it's too much, just drop that arm down by your side. We're gonna roll to forward fold, so rolling down towards the right, bring our belly back to thighs, head hangs to floor. Rise to half lift, flatten your back. Step your, oh I'm sorry, step into a plank position. Let me get myself together and lower knees to tabletop. Preparing for our tabletop crunch. Hands are flat or you're lifting up to tips of fingers. Extend your left leg behind you, point through the toes. We're gonna take three crunches, so here's one. Knee to chest, around the spine. Inhale to extend. Exhale to crunch for two, knee to chest. Keep that knee high. Inhale to extend. Last time, exhale, draw the belly in and get the foot into lunge. Lift the right knee off the mat. Bring hands to thigh and extend arms overhead into high lunge. Left knee is stacked right over the ankle and we're on the ball of the right foot. Open to five-pointed star, facing the right side of your mat, lowering arms down to shoulder height, and both feet are now facing forward. Left foot only is gonna to turn towards the front of the mat, then bend that knee, stacking it back over the ankle. Lower the elbow down to the thigh into side angle, right arm frames the ear. We lift and twist the chest up towards the ceiling. So we're engaging our core. As we inhale, we'll return to arms at shoulder height, and refine a reverse warrior. Left arm comes up to ceiling. If you want some ease in the bent knee, you can straighten the leg here or keep it bent for some extra strengthening. We'll return to arms at shoulder height, knee bends if you straighten the leg and return to side angle. So elbow comes down, free arm frames the ear. We're lifting and twisting towards the ceiling. We'll inhale, reverse warrior. Option to straighten the leg or keep the left knee bent. Last time, a little faster, we're gonna exhale to side angle, elbow comes down, find the twist. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm comes up to ceiling. We're gonna windmill our arms down back into a lunge, right heel lifts off the mat, place the hands down. 
and we'll lift left arm up to ceiling into twist. If you want some ease here, you can lower right knee down to the mat. It's up to you. Take a few breaths into the chest. And as you exhale, finger returns to the mat. Bring the right knee down to the mat if it was lifted and step back into tabletop, preparing for our sequence. So hands are flat, fingers spread nice and wide. We'll lift the knees in three, two, one. Find the lift, draw belly in, tap the knee, tap the knee, shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee, shoulder, shoulder. Step into plank, forearm plank, and hold for five. Remember, you can add those hip dips if you're trying to amp things up. It's up to you. Don't push yourself too far. And we'll lower to mat. Hands under shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale to your rest position. We will take a little bit of a rest this time. So deepen your breath. And appreciate the moment of stillness we have here. Slowly rise back to a tabletop position, preparing for tabletop crunch. So lifting up to tips of the fingers, extending your left leg behind you, draw knee to chest and step the foot into lunge. Breathe in as you find half lift, back is flat and feet together. Exhale as you lower to fold. Try to draw the inhale out as you slowly rise to standing. And exhale at the top. Bring the right arm up to the ceiling. Reach through those tips of the fingers. Engage your core and find your side bend. Chin lifts from the chest. Holding here. Remembering not to crunch onto one side of the body. Find length on both sides. Optional to raise your free hand, both arms frame the ear. A few more breaths, make them nice and deep. And we'll roll down to forward fold, belly comes down to thighs. Rise, half lift, flatten back. Step into your plank position and lower the knees to tabletop. Setting up for tabletop crunches, lifting up to tips of fingers or hands are flat. Extend the right leg behind you. Exhale for one, knee to chest, round the spine. Pull that belly in, inhale to extend. Exhale, crunch two, belly draws in. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest and step the foot into lunge. Lift the left knee off the mat. Bring hands to thighs and extend both arms overhead. Right knees over the ankle. Open a five-pointed star facing the left side of the mat. Arms at shoulder height and feet are forward. Just the right foot's going to turn towards the front of the mat. Bend the knees, stacking it over the ankle and fine side angle. Elbow comes down, left arm frames the ear. We're twisting towards the ceiling. We'll slowly rise up. Arms at shoulder height and find reverse warrior. Right arm up. Option to straighten the leg if you want a little bit of ease. We're going to speed it up and tie it in with our breath. So we exhale to side angle, elbow down. Inhale, reverse warrior, arms come up. Again, exhaling, side angle. Inhaling, reverse warrior. This time, as you exhale, we'll windmill arms down into lunge. So left heel lifts off the mat. Lift the right arm up to the ceiling into twist. Option to lower the left knee down to the mat for some ease. Keep the core nice and active. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, fingertips come down to the mat. Step back into your plank position and lower the knees to tabletop. 
Preparing for our sequence, spread the hands wide. We'll lift the knees in three, two, one. Activate the core. Knee tap, knee tap, shoulder, shoulder. Knee and knee, shoulder and shoulder. Find your plank, extend the legs, forearm plank, elbows to mat, and we'll hold for five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down, let go. Inhale, lifting the chest, and exhaling to your rest position. Slowly rise back to tabletop. Extend your right leg behind you for tabletop crunch. Point through the toes. Draw the knee in towards the chest and step or place into lunge. Inhale as you step up to half lift. Exhale as you lower to fold. And inhale as you slowly rise to standing. Take both hands to your heart, stack on top of one another. Lower chin to chest, close the eyes or keep your gaze focused on one spot on your mat. And just take a few seconds to feel the rate of your heart and the speed of your breath. Lower arms down by your sides and lift your head to look forward. Eyes can stay closed if you're comfortable for the next few moments. Draw the breath in through the nose as you lift arms out of your sides, up overhead. Exhale, hands together, down through heart center, and then release arms down by your sides. Two more times. Deep breath in, lifting arms up overhead. Exhaling hands together, down through heart center, and down at our sides. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center, and find your forward fold. Belly meets the thighs. Eyes can still stay closed if you like. We're going to hang out for a few breaths here. Maybe try taking ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows. Shake the head a few times, yes and no. Maybe find a sway, just find a little bit of movement that feels good for your body. And rise to half lift, flat in the back. Step into plank and lower the knees to tabletop. We've got our last set of core work here. Spread the fingers nice and wide. We'll lift the knees in three, two, one. Core is active. Knee tap, knee tap. Shoulder, shoulder. Again, knee tap, knee tap, shoulder, and shoulder. Step back to plank. Meet me in forearm plank. We hold the last forearm plank for 15 seconds. I'm starting to count already. If you're completely tired, you're more than welcome to lower down to your mat early. Don't lose your form though. Heel in line with hips in line with shoulders. We're holding here, not holding the breath. And we release all the way down to the mat. Bring your arms along the sides of your body, palms face up, and turn your head to one side so you can rest your cheek on your mat. Bring big toes to touch, but let heels fall out. Wiggle shoulders away from the ears, make some space. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and as you exhale out through your mouth, let everything go onto your mat. you'd like to deepen the stretch for your neck, you can turn your head so you're resting more on your ear than you are your cheek. Slow. 
Slowly turn your head to the opposite side, starting on your cheek first. Take another deep breath in through your nose, and as you exhale again, let go. You're deepening the stretch, turn to rest on your ear rather than your cheek. Bring your chin to your mat and for your last time today, press yourself into your chosen rest position. Slowly rise up to a seated position, sitting in the center of your mat, and extend your legs forward with the feet flexed. Lift both arms overhead, drop chin to chest and round the spine into rounded back stretch. So hands come down to the knees, thumbs on the inside, elbows point out to long edges of the mat, and relax the shoulders away from the ears. relieving any lasting tension we have around the spine, the back of the neck, all the way down to the tailbone. Nice and slow, start to find length in the spine and meet me in staff pose, planting hands on either sides of your hips, finding length out through the crown of your head before relaxing to a neutral spine. Place both feet on the mat so knees are bent. Place your hands on the back of your thighs and then roll down until you're flat on your back. Draw both knees in towards your chest and give me a squeeze. So interlace the fingers holding below the knees, drawing thighs close to body, feet side by side. So if this is uncomfortable on your knees, you can hold on to the back of your thighs instead. If you want to take things to the opposite side of the spectrum, so you want to increase some sensation, you can grab onto opposite elbows. Make sure the low back is still on the floor. You don't want it lifting up. In whatever position you're in, just slightly tuck your chin in towards your chest so we can lengthen the back side of the neck. We're just going to hold here, relieving any tension in the low back. Now place your hands on the back side of your thighs and extend both legs up to the ceiling into our inversion, stacking the heels roughly over the hips. We'll hold for about 45 seconds here, 40 to 45 seconds. If you notice that you're getting a little tired, you can draw the knees in towards the chest, keeping heels elevated. You might find a little ease that way. It's normal to feel a little tingliness in your toes as we're sort of sending a rush of fresh oxygenated blood towards our heads. We're calming down our nervous system and inducing relaxation. Slowly draw the knees all the way into the chest, lowering heels down towards the body. Place your arms along the floor at shoulder height with palms facing up towards the ceiling. Lower the knees to the right into recline spinal twist. So knees lower as far to the right as they can, maybe touching down to the floor. And head gently turns to the opposite direction.
This is our last pose before final resting pose. It's a great time to close your eyes and start to prepare your body for a little bit of stillness and reflection. Slowly draw the knees back to the center of the chest. Let them fall over to the left and turn head to right. Again, one last stretch for our core and the sides of our body as well. Recline spinal twist is another pose great for Relieving tension in the low back. If you're feeling any pinching or discomfort, lower your knees towards the bottom of the mat or the opposite end of your mat. Again, knees draw back to the center of the chest and we're gonna hold on to them however is comfortable for you, pulling thighs close to body. Take a deep breath in through your nose, lift your head to meet your knees, hold your breath, squeeze all your muscles nice and tight. And as you exhale out through your mouth, we'll relax, releasing our hold to lay flat on our mat into final rest period. So legs and arms are spread nice and wide, taking up as much space as you can. Eyes are closed. Palms face up towards the ceiling. And toes fall away from one another. Again, I'll ask you to take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale out through your mouth, let everything go. Bring your attention to your breath. Follow every rise and fall of your chest. Try to relax the muscles around the brow. If your breath has wandered, I ask you to bring your attention back to the rise and fall of your chest. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Walk a movement back into your body. Roll over to the right side of your body, taking a moment of stillness on your side. 
maybe using your arm to support your head. Keeping your eyes closed or your gaze low to the floor, slowly press yourself up into any comfortable seated position. As always, to finish class, we'll take three cleansing breaths together as one. That's breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Today, we're gonna to add movement to our breath. So as we exhale, we'll round our spine and as we inhale, we'll lift an arch, tilting our head up towards the ceiling. So we'll all start on an exhale, releasing all the breath we have in the body, rounding the spine, dropping our chin to our chest. Then we inhale, filling the body with the breath, lifting and arching, tilting the head up. Exhaling out the mouth, returning to a roundness in the spine for one. Breath in for two, inhaling, finding the lift and the arch. Exhaling out through the mouth. Inhaling for three, lifting and arching, filling the body with breath. And exhaling, rounding the spine, chin to chest. Lift your spine to a neutral position and take a second to thank yourself for taking the time to take this class today. Thank your body for getting you through the practice. There is a light that exists within me that honors the light that exists within you. Thanks so much for practicing with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this class, a new version of this class is aired every Wednesday at 8 a.m. If you're looking for something a little easier on your body, I also teach a vinyasa yoga class that's aired every Monday at 8 a.m. It's structured much the same. Um, however, I take out that core work and replace it with something else. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I hope to see you next time.